And good evening to you. I'm Paul Martino. Tonight, the rivers in and around Pittsburgh moving fast. They're dangerous. And earlier tonight, lives on the line for two men in the Mon. Kim Gable, live there tonight on the south side. It's a story you'll only see here on KDKA, right, Kim? Yeah, Paul, we're live right now at the Southside Marina. I just talked to one of the dock masters here just within the last couple of minutes who says, and this is an experienced boater, I mean, decades of experience. They have never seen the water moved quite so quickly. I want you to take a look down here now. Um, we're right at the entrance to the docks. This is just uh, one small example of the Mon River here just going so swiftly and churning uh, through the dock area here. Uh, just within the last couple of hours, too, since, since we were here for the rescue, I can tell you there was even more damage here at the marina. Another boat, they call it the ice cream boat. It was a boat that was docked down that way and sold ice cream. It broke loose from the docks here and slammed into, into some other boats and uh, landed at one of the docks uh, further down the river. So uh, a lot of damage here that they're dealing with at the south side marina. Meanwhile, though, let's hear the story now from one man who says these swift moving waters almost took his life. The rising waters of the Monongahela are swift and dangerous this weekend. I've been here for three years. I've never seen it like this. Boaters who would typically be out on the river opted for the safety of the docks at the Southside Marina. For one group of friends, even that became risky. This is their powerboat. After it started taking on water and capsized, sending two men into the churning waters. It was just a matter of three seconds. I, I got his hand, and by the time it's just flipped. First one, I couldn't get it. I had to run all the way. He got the first guy, and I had to run, so I got him after that. Danny Shaw was the second victim to be pulled from the river. I kind of went from one dock to another dock. So finally, third dock, I saw the boat. I kind of hang tight on it. I got some cut and bruises here. And remember Eugene? Danny is calling him a hero, too. A lady throws me a life jacket. I grab it, and I'm running down, and we see another guy. He was about two fingers of the dock down, and he's hanging on the back of a pontoon ladder. Exhausted and terrified, but grateful to be alive. I thank God and friends and family for their best wishes to be alive here in front of you. That, that's all I can say. So we're bringing you back now to another live look at the Mon River here, just moving so swiftly, too dangerous for the boats to be out on the water tonight. And listen to this as well. Um, that's not the end to Danny's story. After we were done with his interview, he told us that this is not the first time he has fallen into a river needing to be rescued. This is the second time. He says he's going to stay away from the water for a while now. Reporting live, Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.